Today we are considering geometry. Geometry has to do with measurements of angles in shape. And we'll be considering our plane geometry. Plane geometry. And in plane geometry, before that all talks about our plane shapes. And before we talk about our plane shape, we know angles are formed when two lines meet at a point. So before we begin to talk about our shapes, we have to first talk about angles. And there are rules guiding angles. And that's the first one we are going to consider. Rules guiding angles between lines. Rules guiding angles between lines. The first rule that guides angle between lines is the sum of angles of on a straight line is 180 degrees. Sum of angle on a straight line. A straight line angle added together is 180 degrees. So that's why we have it as G plus F plus E will give us 180. It will be addition of the three. It's just like dividing the 180 into three parts. So G plus E plus F equals to 180 degrees. That's sum of angle on a straight line. The next rule is alternate angles are equal. Alternate angles are equal. How is our alternate angle formed? Our alternate angle is formed when a parallel line when a line intersects a parallel line, a pure parallel line, this line is parallel, that's why you have the sign showing that they are moving the same direction and they will never meet. So this line is coming to intersect them and it's forming angle A and angle B. So angle A and angle B are equal, they are alternate angle. And when you bring it out, it will look like your Z. Now you see, just like our Z. So the angle inside this is A, and the angle here is B, so A and B are equal. The third rule rule is vertically opposite angles are equal. Vertically opposite angles, they are facing themselves. And see the angle A and angle B opposite one to another. So we now say angle A and angle B are equal. The fourth one is the sum of angle at a point is equal to 360 degrees. Sum of angle at a point, this is the point forming a complete circle and when you have two that's two straight line angle up and the angle down since we know angle up of a straight line is 180 degree angle down is also 180 so the addition of 180 degree will give us 360 degree this was equally divided into three parts and that's why you have it as angle a plus angle b plus angle c equals to 180 and this is the point that's the point and that's the point the dots here is showing the center so that's why it says sum of angle at a point equals to 180 degrees. The fourth, the fifth one is corresponding angles are equal. Corresponding angles are equal. Angle A, angle B, angle C, angle D are corresponding. How do they arrive at that? How do they arrive at this? And that's how to, this, this is just a little explanation. We have with our diagram dividing that part into four. And you have it, this is, one, two, three, four. When you join it back together, it will form a corresponding. So we have it left up, left side up, left side up. So every angle in the left side up are equal. So if this one is, that means this one is equal to this, equal to this, and equal to this. And that's why we had this here that angle A equals to angle B, equals to angle C, equals to angle D. So same way, the angles are located on the left, uh, left side down, left side down. Can you see left side down? That means this angle here and the angle here, the angle here, the angle here. I've also, the angle located on the right side up, angle here, angle from here, angle from here. I so they are corresponding angles one to one. These are the five basic laws that guide angles in a line. So once you solve one of your examples to drive home even this theorem. Now we have a shape drawn. Look at it. So the first thing we are going to trace is the straight line angle, the straight line. So this is an angle in straight line and that's going to be addition of A plus 27 plus 55. A, A plus 27 plus 55 equals to 180 degrees. Raising sum of angles on a straight line. And when you add, it is five and 27, it gives us 112. 112. A plus 112 will give us 180 degrees, equal to 180 degrees. So A now will be 
equal to 180 degree minus 112 degree and our value for a equals to a 68. Now if you move again, it's got that a and b are facing one another. So that's vertically opposite angle, vertically opposite. So a equals a equals to b, they are both vertically. And since we have a value for a as 68, automatically b becomes 58. Then since we have that, can you c plus b equals 180 degree, sum of angle on a straight line, b plus c equals 180 degree. We can also use another one. You can see that c equals to the addition of 27 and 85 because that's vertically opposite. But well, since you want to use this, we'll be using B plus C equals 180. B plus angle C equals 180 degree. So I'm going to straight line. And since we have a value for B as 68 degree, then C plus 68 equals 180 degree. Then C will be 180 degree minus 68. Another example to look at the math, look at this, look at this. We have, we have to find angle D, E, and F. And we have this side, we can discover that this one is vertically opposite angle D and 70, vertically opposite. So D equals to 70, vertically opposite angle. The same way, E is equal to 95. That's the vertically opposite angle. So we have that E equals to 95 degree, vertically opposite angle. Then we have D plus E plus F equals to 180 degree. D plus E plus F equals to 180 degree. And since we have values for those substituting, even 70 and 95, we add that together, 165 E plus F equals to 180 degree. Automatically, F equals to what? 180 degree minus 165 degree. That will give us 15 degree. Next example we are going to take here yeah, is we have 312 and J, that's sum of angle at a point. 312 and J, sum of angle at a point. 312 plus J, give us 360 degrees. That's what sum of angle at a point. So 3J would then be equal to 360 minus 312, and that's 48. K and J are corresponding angle. Let's see that. K and J up left side. Up left side. How are we going to do? How are we going to do that because of the parallel line? Up left side, up left side. So automatically J and K are corresponding angle. So K equals to J and K. Since J is 48, K will also be equal to 48. Then J, K plus L is sum of angle on a straight line. Let's see that. Sum of angle on a straight line. I see the straight line. K plus L, sum of angle on a straight line. So you have it as K plus L equals 180 degrees, sum of angles on a straight line. Since we know K, value for K is 48 degrees, 48 plus L equals 180 degrees. L then will be equal to 180 degree minus 48. So L is 132. Another example, we have this shape. We have to find Q. We have to find angle Q. We have this side as 40 degree. And from this side, you know that's the right angle. So then with this angle, it's 90 degree. And how do you go about it? The first thing you are going to do is to draw a line through angle Q. And that's what you do. That's why we use a dotted line. To pass to and dividing angle Q into angle A and angle B. So angle A and 40, can you see? Right hand side, right hand side, or right hand side. So it's angle A and angle 40 are corresponding. The same thing, angle B and this right angle, that's left hand side up, left side up, left side up. So that means. B will also be equal to 90 degree. So we have the value of Q, which is the addition of angle A and angle B. So we have it, angle Q is the addition of angle A and angle B that is given, because we're the one that divide 
with the dotted line. And we have said here, A is equal to 40 degree. That's corresponding angle. You are both on the right hand side up. And B and the 90 degree are corresponding left hand side up. So since Q is addition of A and B, Q then will be 40 degree plus 90 degree. And our angle Q is 130 degree. Question number five, to solve this mark S, you, have, you can also see here, yeah, I want to do that. 80 degree, we have this, we have to find our Q. Actually, our B is not also to We are going to find our Q, our, our P, sorry. This angle here is 135 degree and gravity. Let's go about that too. You can see, draw a line through angle 135 to divide it to A and B, A and B divided to A and B. Now, B and 80 are alternate angle like your Z, like our Z, alternate angle. So then when you have that, then you can subtract B from 135 degrees to get A. Then A and angle P, they are what corresponding angle. Left side down, left side down left side down, so, and that's what we did. We agreed that, that by that division, angle 135 degree is divided into A plus B. Then that means we have a value for B. B is alternate to angle 80. B and 80, like your Z, alternate angle. So B is alternate to angle 80, so we have since we know that 135 degree equals to A plus B, so 135 degree equals to A plus 80, since we have a value for B. So A now will be what? 135 degree minus 80. So A is 55. A and P are corresponding angle. Let's see that. A and P, they are both left side down. Left side down. So A and P are equal. A equals to P corresponding angle. So our P finally becomes 55. So we get this as our class for so for the following marked angles. The first one, we have it angle M plus just to give us an int, angle M plus 75 degree. And the other one that's vertically opposite to it is 4M minus 15 degree. And that one we are giving an angle similar to that one, angle A and angle 236 degree is the sum of angle at a point. So when you know that, then you can then solve for this corresponding angle, and then you find your source for C. A and C corresponding, then B and C, sum of angle on the straight line. And this is another one. You have this one also. You discover that X to X plus two Y is angle on the straight line. But from our diagram, this is equal to 2x equals to 1 to the addition of angle 50 and angle 80. So that's vertically opposite angle. With that, you can get your x. So when you have your x, because you have to find our x, when you have your x, then x plus 10, you'll be able to get that. Then x plus 10 is vertically opposite to 2y. So x plus x will be given that. The fourth one, we have this. This sum of angle at the point. We're giving angle 120 degree. We are giving angle 135 degree and C, and that's sum of angle at the point, then we can equally solve that. So see you again in the next class. See you again in the next class. I am Adeyemi Alao. Thank you. Subscribe to my YouTube channel.